Chemotherapy means we're treating with chemicals. We're treating the whole body. So it's indicated for diseases that are systemic, such as lymphoma, or diseases that have a very high potential to involve distant sites, such as malignant melanoma. They, chemotherapy drugs cannot tell the difference between a normal cell and a tumor cell, and that's why we have the potential for side effects. They just see rapidly dividing cells. Now, as an adult, you don't have a lot of rapidly dividing cells, but you have a few, and by thinking about what they are, you can predict the side effects you might see. For example, our hair grows all the time, and it's always dividing, so it is usually impacted by the chemotherapy. But the vast majority of our dogs have a hair coat that's always the same length, so they don't lose their hair. The exception to that is the poodles and the poolies and some of the old English sheepdogs, anybody who goes to the groomer all the time and has their hair grow synchronized, they'll have some temporary hair loss, but it'll come back. The other tissues that divide rapidly are, for example, the lining of your gastrointestinal tract. That's replaced every three to five days. So you can potentially have some gastrointestinal side effects. We don't in the vast majority of cases. We have good drugs to prevent them, but they're gonna be self-limiting because you have a brand new lining in three to five days. The population of cells we have to worry about the most is your normal white blood cells called your segmented neutrophils. Those cells are replaced every day, twice a day because we do live in a hostile environment where every time we take a breath, we breathe in germs. Every time we eat our lunch, we put more bacteria in our GI tract. Those bacteria that are in our GI tract occasionally cross and have to be dealt with. And those segmented neutrophils are what allow us to live here. And without them, you are the boy in the bubble story. You can't live here. That's how we've adapted to live in this environment. So we will be doing a little bit of a balancing act. We are going to want to give as much chemotherapy as we can to kill as many tumor cells as possible but we want to make certain that we don't get the white blood cell count so low that we're destined to have some kind of infection which could potentially be life-threatening. So we are going to count white blood cells, chances are, every time we see your pet if you're receiving chemotherapy. And if ever you're worried about your pet at home, the first thing we're going to ask you to do is to take their body temperature. Normal body temperature in the dogs and the cats is roughly 101 to 103. But anybody that's over 103 that's on chemotherapy is an emergency and needs to be seen immediately. There are some very unique side effects to each one of the drugs that we use, and we'll try to provide to you in written form and orally all of the potential side effects associated with each of the, each of the drugs and the unique things to the particular drug that you're getting. But always our goal is again to have our chances of helping your pet be much much higher than our chances of hurting. We can't el completely eliminate some of the side effects but we can prevent most of them and we can keep them very manageable.